Yeah. Okay. So, in these collecting ducts is urine. Mm -hmm. It's already gone through all three steps of making it into urine. Mm -hmm. okay. Then that urine drains out of the bump, the papilla, into minor, then major calyxes, then into the renal pelvis before hitting into the ureter. Minor is one. Yes. Major is a few, right? Yeah. And then a re renal pelvis. Is all of it. All of, yes. all of it. Okay. Exactly. Because they all can meet up here. Exactly. Right? If you were a drop of urine here, you could have come from any pyramid. If you are a drop of urine here, well, you could have come from these two, and it looks like there's a hot one hiding back there. But if you're here, you only came from that one, so it must be minor. Mm -hmm. So a space from a single pyramid, minor calyx. A space where that urine could have come from a few pyramids, major. major. A space where it could have come from any pyramid, renal, renal pelvis, and the tube from that? Ureter. 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 Okay. Yeah, ureter. Yeah. <laughs> professor, we were saying um, this would be the cardical Cardical medullary junction right here. Let's say, just because it's the same oh, thing over here, right? Here. There's a big difference between my saying, name the red vessel or name the blue vessel, right. versus name this borderline. Mm -hmm. right. right? It's right at these arcuate arteries and veins arcuate. that is the borderline. Okay. So just make sure you're careful because a sticker there could ask, name the red, it could ask, name the blue, or it could just say, name the border. You can even ask, like, on a side right here. It looks better, right? Oh, true, yeah. Yeah. Then I could see, though, if I put a sticker <laughs> there, someone would call me over, I don't I can't find a C. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> over here, you know, look yeah. on the side. So. But it didn't make sense. Yeah. Right. Well, this is cortex, under. right? And down and here medulla. is part of the medulla. medulla. That makes this the borderline known as the corticomedullary junction. The thing is, these are also an arcuate artery and an arcuate vein because they're on the curving part of the pyramid. So if I ask, name the red vessel or name the blue vessel, yeah. arcuate artery or arcuate vein, name the border scene here, corticomedullary junction. Would you use the small one or just this one? I could use it here too. In fact, there's even a spot like right there where there are no vessels per yeah, chance and it happens to be curves. that nice border. So, same idea. But regardless of where it is, if the phrasing of the question specifically says name the borderline and it's anywhere where cortex meets medulla, it's got to be that. So the arcuate arteries and the arcuate veins are basically in between or meet the ending of the, cor the cortex and in the beginning of the border. Exactly. The border. Exactly. Thank you. Right Thank you. Border. <laughs> Instead of you trying to be so complicated, yeah. you between and under and go this right. way, make a lax. Or even name the borderline here. Mm -hmm. that would well, be that's where the it's arcuate. Or... The, the other arcuate. vessels are arcuate. Yes. Right, because oh, the, the shape okay. of the base of the pyramid has an arc shape to it, a curve. Arc, okay. okay. So arcuate <laughs> meaning arc shaped. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. And the renal arteries we know because it's just a refresher. We saw that before. Mm -hmm. this yeah, so we can trace. To be too long, is it? Is it the thing is, the lists are pretty long, but it's surprisingly manageable. Okay. Okay. So usually, these are almost everyone's highest practical grades of the semester. All three of them together, or like everything, <laughs> all of these things? Well, okay, 